Fika is a four-letter word. It's an obstacle to business, it's a difficult area to manage, and the rules are changing continuously. Darkfox is a solution that has made sure that the entire process of Fika and KYC is mapped out, the processes are managed, and all of the different iterations of onboarding a customer have been catered for. What we're going to show you is the way that our 100 customers experience, as an, inst an accountable institution, the process of onboarding by utilizing DocFox. For the sake of the demonstration, because we only have seven minutes, we're going to show you um, a legal entity as opposed to an individual, so it's a juristic. And I'm going to take you through two quick case studies, the first one being an easy onboarding, and the second one being slightly more complex. So, I've received an email. Um, I work for Citadel, which is one of our clients. Uh, we'll assume that I am the compliance officer. As Citadel, I've received an email telling me that um, there are certain documents uh, that have been uploaded by a client of ours, and we're going to go, go and complete the customer onboarding. So, the customer in question is a com company called Sangro Capital. I've gone in to take a look at the status of Sangro, and what I can see from the list over there is that most of the documents have been submitted to me. So if we, we have received the KYC documents, we have gone through adverse media searches, um, which have been investigated. All of the sanctions list screening that we've gone through has checked out positively, and bank account verification in this case was not necessary. So all I need to do in this particular case is to risk rate the client, which is one of the requirements in terms of the FICA Act, and I'm going to quickly go through that. So the process we're going through right now of choosing the answers and the questions is in fact also configurable based on the questions that Citadel wishes to ask to be able to risk rate their clients, there are five different components. We've randomly chosen some answers to each of those different questions, and we calculate a score for this particular client. In that particular case, uh, you will see over there that the client is a medium risk if you look at the top left, and we have decided then that that's sufficient for us, we're happy to approve the client, all the documents have checked out. That's the end of that process, and that was a very easy customer onboarding. We want to just demonstrate for you quickly the difference when you come up with a fairly complicated case. Again, we're dealing with a juristic, and in this case, it's stark investments. Once again, as the compliance officer, I will have received an email telling me that certain documents for this particular client are outstanding. So let me go in and investigate. And when you take a look at the status of this client, you will notice that unlike the previous client, Sangro, certain items are outstanding. In particular, if you take a look at the dashboard over here, certain documents have been submitted, all of these being appropriate documents for the juristic entity. But we have a pending upload for the company declaration. So there are certain, certain documents that we need to be submitted, uh, in this case a particular resolution, which the client has still not submitted to us. So I can now invite my client, in this case it's the director of Stark, to submit that particular resolution which is still outstanding. So I'm going to send out the invitation through the DocFox portal, and I'm going to hand over to Dylan, who is going to then represent that director um, of Stark. Fantastic. Thanks, Richard. So as the director of Stark, I'm just going to go into my emails, and what you guys will notice on the screen that Citadel Wealth Management has requested my documentation. So I would have received this fully white-labeled email, and I can go ahead and just select Upload Documentation. I'm not quite sure what the document outstanding is, but I see here that it's a company declaration. So I can go ahead and choose a file. I'm able to upload a resolution or mandate, and luckily I have that on hand. So let me go ahead and just take a photo of the document and just upload this. While this is uploading, you'll notice that Dylan, as our client, only has one interaction with our system. So we're trying to minimize the inconvenience for the client. On our side, we are going to only receive pre-vetted um, documents. So there are certain qualitative tests that are done before the document is submitted to give immediate feedback to our client if that document resolution is inappropriate, if it can't be read, or if the information is, is incorrect. What you will see now, we're back as um, as Citadel, what you'll see is I've got a warning sign at the top. The document that has been submitted seems to have an, a registered address that doesn't match with the onboarding information that I received when I onboarded my client. So I need to go and investigate this. What I'm going to do is take a look at the map. So we've got two different addresses. I would like to see where those two addresses are since they don't match. 
What you can see from the map is they are in fairly close geography, but they're different locations. So initially, I've got the client having registered at 7 Chadwick Avenue, whereas the most recent document is of a different location. I'm going to go and investigate that. One of the things I'd like to do is actually go and visit the area. I want to see if this is a registered office, since they've confirmed that it is. What I can see if I go in here is I can see this looks very residential to me. That doesn't look like an office address. So that's certainly a concern. I'm not going to investigate that right now. We don't have the time. But I'm certainly going to flag that as a concern and something that I wish to resolve before I onboard this customer. The next thing I want to do is I want to take a look at whether there are any adverse hits. I've become a bit suspicious of this particular potential client. I want to know if they're on any sanctions lists. So we, do, uh, we poll about 900 different databases across the world to assess the risk of money laundering. So if I click on stock investments, what I have been able to see is there is one hit, and that hit that's come up relates to the Isle of Man. If I investigate Stark, I can see that they are based in the Isle of Man. And this is Stark Investments Limited, whereas my client is Stark, is Stark Investments. So the two don't match. My question, of course, is are these the same in entities? And if I take a look at what hit was, uh, arose, it was not a particularly concerning one. So in this case, what I'm going to do is simply make a, make a note. I wish to follow this up as well. It probably isn't the same company. The last thing I want to show you before we close off is that there is a complete audit trail. So what you can do as the accountable institution is demonstrate and prove to the regulator or to yourselves or to the compliance department that you've complied with each of the onboarding processes. What you will see is comprehensively there's a list of every single interaction that I've had with this client and anybody in, the in, in um, Citadel has had. I'm going to make a note to one of my colleagues to please follow up on this because I have a concern. The last thing I'd like to show you is that we are able to also produce a PDF report which demonstrates every single component which can then be kept on file and given to any regulator that needs it. Um, we would invite you, of course, please, to come and visit us. We're at the stand outside on the door on the left. Um, the summary of DocFox is we're able to FICA individuals and institutions and companies, international and local, from very complex corporate structures down to very simple individual um, individuals. Uh, it's a system that we can configure for within 24 hours, we can onboard clients, uh, or alternatively, um, through APIs. Please come and chat to us at the stand. Thanks very much for the time.